welcome back guys so in this video we are going to see how we can use depth of field inside of Maya and Arnold uh, you can still use this technique with Maya software or Maya hardware the technique remains the same so first let's talk about what is depth of field so the Wikipedia definition of depth of field is the distance between the nearest and the farthest objects that are in acceptably sharp focus in an image and uh, the depth of field can be calculated based on focal length distance to a subject the acceptable circle of the confusion size and the aperture now the focal length is basically decides the distance between your camera and your subject and the aperture basically decides how much blur it's going to get aperture has some blades that decides how much the circle is going to open up and close up the amount of blades opens up lets the light to come inside of the camera sensors to bounce back and forth and to expose the image now if the circle is small it's going to create more shallow depth of field if the circle is big you are going to get much sharper image so the smaller your circle is the more blur you're going to get so let's look at some example so i'm going to create a plane okay and then turn off the grid let's take some primitives some cone Okay, and let's scatter these objects in 3D space. Uh, hit W to move them around, hit E to rotate them, and R to scale them. Okay, then hit W, move them up. So it's still a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take a new camera. So simply go to create, camera, and camera. Now to select this, activate this camera, simply go to your panel, perspective and camera. Okay, so now we are looking through our camera angle. Now, I'm, I think I just, I don't need this thing. Now I'm going to go to my attribute editor, you can simply hit control A. Uh, and go to your outliner, if you don't have your outliner uh, tab here, simply go to windows and outliner. Select your camera, I'm going to rename this as my main camera and uh, let's see so i'm going to come down here where it says depth of field and i'm going to turn on the depth of field and as you can see everything gets blurred because uh, our camera doesn't know what object to focus on so here is the focus distance right now we are in a 3d space where we have to tell our camera which object to focus if i change some numbers like for example 40 so as you can see the shallow depth of field is continuously moving in 3d space uh, the camera is trying to focus on certain object so i'm going to and the f-stop is basically your aperture how much blur it's going to get the lower your number is and if you want a sharper image you just raise up the numbers so if it's 10 you're going to get much sharper image right but if it's around like one or two you get more blur in your scene so but there is no precise way to calculate the distance between your camera and your objects so how do we do that so to fix that we simply go to display and we turn on one thing called as object details and what this is going to allow us to do is to calculate the distance between your camera and your primitive your object your subject so i'm going to select any primitive i want for example the sphere and it says distance from camera it says 13.268 so i'm going to take this number and i'm going to put it around here 13.368 i think it was right 268 so now if i hit render obviously we don't see anything because we don't have any light so i'm going to take a uh, directional light right and let's move this around hit render and we do see our light we see our object but we don't see anything else we don't see any depth of field the reason is because we are on Arnold render engine and it's not going to work on Arnold and I'll tell you in a bit why so let's switch back to my software and hit render and now you see your depth of field let's say I want to focus on this torus it's 33083 so it's 33083 and hit enter and now let's render it again 
and there you go now this technique works with this technique works with uh, Maya software and hardware but how to implement the same technique with Anand now this is completely integrated with Maya's core Maya hardware that's why it shows the depth of field even in viewport so to work with Anand's depth of field you have to go around this Anand tab open this up and enable depth of field see this just turn this on and now since we are working with Anand we, have, we can simply use a live IPR and here as you can see we have nothing no depth of field no nothing because our aperture size is set to zero so we don't have any aperture amount so i'm going to hit one and enter and as you can see everything gets blurred because the amount is too much so i'm going to hit 0.5 uh, maybe like 0.3 okay and we have the same issue we ha don't have a object to focus on 23 273 the distance from camera of our cylinder uh, maybe let's try the cube 19009 okay i'm going to go to my camera distance is 19.009 and as you can see it focus on our cube we need to hit 0.5 to see how much okay this looks good right uh, now if you want to get rid of this uh, get rid of this uh, grainy scene all you have to do is go to your camera settings arnold arnold render and here you will see camera a simply up the settings and after this you'll get but this do i mean this do affects your render time by a lot so be careful what you are sampling all right so i'm going to keep it on seven for now since it's a demonstration purpose uh, now let's try to focus on something else i'm going to keep a view like this i'm going to select my sphere and i'm going to go to my outliner and it says 43832 now let's see so as you can see it only focuses on our sphere now how to implement this in your actual render scenes now i'm going to open up a really old scene of mine all right so here we are so as you can see this is a really old scene of mine so i'm going to turn on my ip here so let's see what's going on and i'm going to switch the camera to camera shape one uh, okay so i'm going to set a view for me um, something like this and let's delete all the cameras from previous renders and i'm going to create a new camera camera and camera one and let's keep it something like this okay so i'm going to select this it says distance from camera is 0.858 right so i'm going to select my camera and uh, let me go back to the arnold tab and enable depth of field and aperture size may be like 0 0.50 and the distance was 0 0.858 so let's type here and instantly as you can see everything gets blurred if i turn this off no depth of field if i turn this on it's still the value is too high all right so as you can see we have a really nice depth of field so you can implement this technique in any renders you want and depth of field just give you a little bit extra in your renders to go with uh, they do have a really good results but they do consume a lot of render time so be careful uh, with the depth of field amount that they're going for so that's it thanks for watching bye bye